Hey Cancer, welcome back to Peony Lore, where we help you to find the beauty in all things. This is the continuation of your June reading. So this is going to encompass June the 15th all the way through the end of the month. Um, as I explained before at the beginning, that with all of the energies and the retrogrades and things of that nature, we needed to split it up. So, this is what we're going to do. So I hope your full moon and eclipse went really well at the beginning of the month. Um, and at the time I'm recording this, obviously we know that we're getting ready to hit um, Father's Day weekend. The big portals of energy that uh, are coming out, and we got both of them here, of uh, summer solstice on the 20th. And then we have the Ring of Fire, the annual solar eclipse that's happening that following day. So... Um, I know that I did the 15th um, with the last portion of the energy, so this is going to be continuing on with the 1st through the 15th. But here's what we've got going on here. We're going to continue one card for each day of the week. Um, we're going to pull two uh, oracle cards for each of the sections because we got three Mondays and three Tuesdays till the end of this month. So um, we're going to just go ahead and start with what it is that we can see here. So wherever we were at... Um, from the last reading to this particular moment, on Monday the 15th, we are in the two of, I almost said clubs, <laughs> we're in the two of rods, the two of wands energy, and this particular called card is titled The Waiting Game, but it is about making um, some choices, and what I'm getting from the remainder of this piece here is that you've already made a choice, which is good. Whenever the two of rods comes up, it really is... Um, can show that there's some hesitation about making a choice, but the universe will always support you as soon as you make one so that they know how to help you move forward. Um, as we get into Tuesday, it looks like we've got the four of rods. So we are looking at um, an achievement of some sort, um, success in the foundation, whether it's your home, whether it's business. Um, so that's a wonderful pairing that we're sitting here um, looking at. When we get to Wednesday, we're going to hit up with Mercury retrograde, okay? Um, there's, it's, it, this is a water sign. We're at the five of cups and there is some sadness about a decision that was made, um, emotional loss, however, um, or regret. It can very often be regret, which is what's creating the emotion for you. Um, if you're regretting something, if you're regretting saying something or doing something, um, you're allowed to be in your feels. Just make sure that whatever is coming, um, from this particular change, which can be um, a change in the household, it can be a change in business, that you recognize that you don't have to live here. Be in your feels, feel the feels, because that's important. Cry it out, that that's what you need to do. Just make sure that you don't stay there too long. Um, now, I'm a little, it's, it's interesting that we've got the Deception and Envy card coming out here, the Seven of um, Swords energy. So, Again, titled Deception and Envy. Um, I will do a clarifier on this one because I'm not necessarily feeling that this is you. So we may need to be able to figure this one out. But what the Seven of Swords often represents is somebody um, or the idea of, of having an idea or having a thought process of taking something or holding on to something. So this gets a little twisted with the way a couple of different people read it, but let's go full compass with that one. If there's deception and envy, it's because either you have held on to some information very tight and close to the vest and someone else is aware that you're not giving all the details, um, or someone is, um, and you're doing that to protect yourself, or you're doing that to protect yourself based upon someone else's energy trying to take something from you. The envy portion of it is exactly that, somebody um, not comfortable with what it is that you're making. So as we get down here to Friday, okay, we're talking about standing your ground. This is the Seven of Rods. So this is a lot of fire energy that's popping up for you guys. And um, I mention that because it's important that you understand um, uh, in your own water sign that this is something that you're going to have to make sure that you balance. You're in your own element um, when it comes to, um, like I said, the retrograde here. Um, and we all know that it will affect communication and it will affect technology and it will affect a couple of other different things. So just be aware of that. Um, but hitting the 7-7 seven, seven towards the end of the week, it looks like you're in a position to make sure that you are maintaining whatever it is that you are trying to protect um, and just make sure that you're protecting it for the right reasons. Now, um, because we've got three weeks, 
or three Mondays and Tuesdays, so to speak, I am actually going to pull two Oracle cards for the weekend energy. Again, Father's Day, Summer Solstice, and then um, the Solar Eclipse coming. And let's see what the, oops, big pardon, fat finger that one. Let's see what the um, Oracle of the Dragon would like to lend to you guys today here. Come on, turn over. Oh, I like them to pop out. Come on now. Cancer. All right, here we go. So we have the Omega Dragon, and what we're talking about is making sure that we harness the divine feminine power of creation. So hold your vision, um, birth the higher consciousness. I really feel that this is right on par with where we're at towards the end of this week here. Hold your vision. Whatever it is that you're looking for, whatever it is that you need, whatever it is is important to you that you're putting that much effort and emphasis into, continue to do that, okay? Um, second card is going to be from the Oracle of the Fairies. What would you like to share with our Cancers for this week of the 15th through the solar eclipse? How do they manage the remainder of those energies? What words of wisdom can you offer? There it is. Okay. And the fairies are saying, wisdom, <laughs> have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years? Now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with the challenge. Okay, well, that also makes a lot of sense. So if you're making a decision to change a job, if you're making a decision to change relationship, if you're making a decision and you're feeling the feels about it and someone else is feeling envious about that, you need to make sure that you're maintaining your own thought process and holding your own ground. You're doing this for the right reasons because it's wisdom based. Um, but hold your vision. Don't let anybody be the thief of your own joy. Okay? So now let's continue on with Monday the 22nd. Let's carry on with that particular week for our cancers. Yeah, my hands. Sorry. They feel wet, although they're completely dry. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's, do, let's, let's go for it. All right. All right. All right, universe, what do you have for our cancers here on Monday, the 22nd? How are we feeling after all this energy? Okay. Well, all right. You definitely fought for your peace. Okay. And it's causing you a little bit of a, a challenge. So you got the five of swords and now you have the two of swords. Um, the five of swords in this deck is titled Conflict and Defeat. Ah, very interesting. And the two in this deck is titled Mental Conflict. It's a choice. Um, you have Justice that pulled out here for you on Wednesday. The truth of the situation is going to pop out. What do we have going on here for Thursday? I haven't forgotten about going back and clarifying, but I want to just try to see what the remainder of the energy is here. Conflict and defeat. You know, <clears throat> choosing your battles with ease and grace. You can win the war, but at what cost? Um, choose your battles with ease and grace. A warning card. Okay. If you choose your battle and you have to do what you have to do, don't feel as though you have to beat yourself up about it and be in mental conflict. Because it does look like if you have to get, get to a point where something negative was happening or something that you didn't want to have happen, then um, justice will be on your side. Now we go into the Six of, of Cups energy, which are happy memories, memories of love, um, loved ones. Wow, look at all these sevens on the ground here. Okay, so we'll get into the numerology of that in just a little bit. <clears throat> um, but pretty much just as I said, this is winning, but at what cost? Um, you choose your battles wisely. Just ease and grace as much as you possibly can. Say what you need to say. Be cautious of the way that you're thinking about portraying this information to somebody um, so that it doesn't come back to bite you in the butt. Do not take a decision, a firm decision that you have to make um, uh, don't beat yourself up, up about it, okay? Justice is here, um, and you will need to understand that, it, you know, there, there'll be some balance here. Memories of love popping up here really is indicating the fact that there's possibly something. Um, I'm getting childhood. <clears throat> there's something from your childhood 
that could potentially have been affected or a child. Um, this also could be your um, spiritual team trying to connect with you um, on an emotional level, um, dream state, things of that nature to try to bring you and provide you with some information connected to this truth. But by the time you get to that Friday, um, uh, then we're looking at the Seven of Pentacles, which is all about just patience and planning as it's, as it's indicated here on this particular card. I want to go ahead and take a look at two oracles. We're going to go with the Angels of Atlantis to see what Angel would like to support. Because this is a heavy roll. Um, so I like the way I was told to kind of like put everything together as far as breaking the um, different oracles down. And then we're going to get into a little funky card here. <laughs> my rebel deck. My bad unicorns. Um, they're going to they're gonna call it. They're going to call it like you see it. Let's say. All right. Which Angel would like to step forward to support are canceled cancers excuse me during this tumultuous week for them looks like there's a lot of mental energy you got fired up about something there it is ah okay archangel uriel um is here <clears throat> to help you with abundance now abundance doesn't always just mean physical money okay although it often does uh, abundance can be any of those things that you have um and i believe that there's knowledge there's abundance of knowledge coming to you um this particular week but as i said patience and planning with where dollars are um specifically is is what's popping up here so now like i said this little deck here this little rebel deck um <laughs> They're so snarky, but they often, like, they, they just, like, they call it <laughs> just plain English, okay, which I think is hilarious and fun. Uh, add a little brevity to this mid-row here. All right. All right, Rebels. Ooh, let's see what we've got going on here. Don't believe every shitty thought that you have. That's literally what it says, okay? Thoughts can be sneaky, lying bastards. <laughs> <laughs> oh you can't get any better than that <laughs> i freaking love it okay we're gonna go ahead and go towards monday the 29th and then tuesday the 30th we will do a little bit of a an intro into the energies that are you're most likely to be carrying on into the beginning week of july so we've got the tower that shows up on monday and this is the one that wants to flip. Go ahead. Okay. So now you have three major arcana. So it is going to be extremely important for you to manage your energy. Um, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to pull um, to see if there's anything else that I can pull out for, for some folks here. But, you know, when the tower shows up in, in our environments, it really is just something that needs to be gone. And if you have foresight that there's something that could be around you that's going to be taking place, then that's up to you to be able to manage that energy. But often if you aren't capable of doing something yourself or having a little bit of trouble, then the universe will step in and they will remove something f that is no longer meant for you. It can be something tiny and minor. It can be something major. I'm not seeing anything overly negative about this, but what I am seeing again here is, is the wisdom card is popping up. This is the Hierophant. So there is something um, I feel that it's going to be changing um, with an educational piece. There's something that you that needs to go so that you can get to the next level of learning. So I think this is a good time to go ahead and take a look at um, some clarifiers. I'll lay them down. I'll go back and take a look at the last two oracles for this last week here. And then we'll have it all tied together here. So I first want to focus on really this deception and envy. I would like to understand a little bit more information about this Seven of Swords energy that's showing up here for our Cancer. Please let me know what's going on here. Well, that was fast. Okay. So, <clears throat> we got the Four of Swords. What else, please? You just need to rest, is what I'm being told. You just need to rest. Yeah. So, what it is that you're looking for with this Star card um, is, is going to show up for you. You just need to rest, which is where some of this mental energy is coming from. Um, the star card often represents healing and higher knowledge as well. But when you receive this sleep, then you're going to be, he there's going to be a healing that's going to take place for you. That's going to help to restore your faith 
and your um, your vim and vigor, so to speak, which is why it leads into the seven of rods, standing your ground and maintaining that peace that you're going to be receiving on that first Thursday. Here we go. Yeah. So there's a lot of communication that's coming towards you. Um, and that's that's just pretty much what they're saying. You need to make sure that you're taking your rest here. Um, there, there will be some restoration and healing for you and that, that there's some communication that's coming very swiftly, which is going to help you to um, stand your ground, so to speak. All right, let's carry that through. What do we need to... Whoops. Oh, that was pretty fast. So this is what I want to do because I didn't even finish answering the question. Fat fingers! Why do my hands feel so wet? They're so dry. Okay. All right, I'm actually going to take a card for... Um, the conflict and defeat, the mental conflict, and then for sure the justice that's showing up here. It is very possible that you're dealing with an air sign. Um, I don't normally try to tie all of that together when it comes to another sign, but this one I'm being told very, very specifically, very could, yeah. <laughs> um... You're not clear. You're you haven't had a lot of clarity, and this Ace of Swords is here um, to let you know that you've been waffling about something for sure. It just really goes to support the um, the the two is specifically what I'm being told. You're not watching, okay? No, no. They said take them, so we're gonna take them. Yeah, here we go again. So you're feeling a little despondent about the fact that you are waffling about making this choice and the Seven of Swords presenting itself again. Um, this is actually clarity. So this is the highest level of clarity that you could get. The Sun card is telling you that you can get past this, this thought process because, like I said, this is the same as the Deception and Envy. This is the Seven of Swords. You just are being invited to just take a rest, really, um, so that you can be at the best point of receiving that clarity that's coming. All right. <clears throat> you know, um, I have to say it. The sun card often represents marriage. So if there is something challenging you that's going on in your relationship right now, then just know that the universe, as far as justice is concerned, is going to be taking care of all of the financial matters that need to be that need to be taken care of. You've got the Nine of Pentacles here. And the other card that was popping up here, and I'm told to keep this in reverse, is um, the Four of Pentacles in reverse, which means um, closing off of the heart a little bit. Uh, just, just enough. And there we go. Queen of Cups. All right. Um, you know, <laughs> motherly energy feminine energy, um, being able to be the master of holding on to the emotions, although you need to make sure that while you're in your emotional state, you are really trying to get through all of the different things that need, that you need to get through. So if this is relationship that's breaking up, um, trust and know that there's a reason for, um, reason seasons and lifetimes for relationships, right? Which is why this is being fed into the, to the six of, of cups energy. Um, it will work out. Everything is going to be fine. We'll go ahead and take another couple of cards on this one. Anything specific or special you can tell me about the six of cups as it relates to this spread. Oh, it wants to be this top one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what else do we need to know about the energy of the fool? Starting over, starting a new adventure. Um, only taking what's necessary for you. Being able to balance... Coming out of a situation from the past that was really difficult for you. Just really trying hard to balance your um, emotions right now. Balancing your finances if you're coming out of um, a relationship. <clears throat> what do I do? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, this is kind of a heavy one. If it, like I said, I'm, and I'm, and I'm getting that, like I said, either job or relationship for sure. 
What else do we need to know about the Seven of Pentacles, this patience and planning here? Ooh, I love that. So, okay, so you've got the two of, um, you got the two of swords and you have the Ace of Wands. Now, I want you to understand the power of the Ace of Wands here. The Ace of Wands is a gift coming to you from the universe. And the two of swords represents being stuck sometimes between your head and your heart. And if you really can manage and balance it out, then you really will be at peace in between the decision that needs to be made here. But that the Ace of Wands is showing up as like this, the universe is giving you something at this point to help you, okay, with the Seven of Pentacles, which is the which is just waiting. Um, the seeds have already been planted. Things are in motion. They're ready to, they're, they're ready to, um, they're not quite ready to take off the vine um, for yourself, but it's already in motion, okay? But that this ace is showing up is huge, which leads into where I want to go here. So I'm just going to pull these two and I'm going to leave them face down. What else do we need to know with this tower and the hermit that shows up? Okay, so we're going to take one a piece. I want to stop here for a second and I want to jump into the oracles is what's they're, what they're telling me to do. So we're going to go in with a sacred geometry card. And then we're going to go in with some words of wisdom from um, Abraham as channeled by... Um, uh, Esther Hicks, and I will read the entire card. Okay, we'll take both of those. All right. Whoopsies. Surrender. <laughs> Release resistance and control and nurture and create. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense to me. That's the one. <laughs> okay. So I can attract relationships that agree with my desires. There we go. Okay. Um, people are not finding it difficult to find the mate of their dreams because that person is not out there, but because of their own contradiction to their, to their own desire and the thoughts they offer about the subject every day. When you consistently offer thoughts about your future relationship that feel good while you think about them, that means you are consistently matching the desires that you have discovered as you have lived life. And under those conditions, only someone in agreement with your dreams could possibly come to you. So that makes a lot of sense to me, right? You're looking for something new in a relationship. You want it to be balanced, right? You want this night to come in very, very swiftly. <laughs> Um, so call on that night. It's there's someone that's uh, on their way, but you've got to consistently be thinking about the beauty of in that particular situation as well. So I'm just going to put these to the side for a second because I want to see what else we have as far as the tower. There we go again. We've got the eight. So if there's anything that's popping up, this eight of pentacles is talking about your mastery of a skill. Okay. Your mastery of a skill related to work sometimes and with wisdom we've got the king of wands that's here now i like the king of wands what you have to recognize about the king of wands is that he is ready to go like right now he is like ready to jump up and go so we, what this card is asking you to do is um think about your um your passionate side and pair it down with your wisdom okay now yeah here we go here <clears throat> your disruption is going to be about the mastery as it relates to a relationship for sure. The wisdom is stating that there is something that's passionate within you. Yeah, it's, it's the tower. You've got to let some things go here. We're going to go back to the tower here. Yeah. And you've got the six. All right. Now let's go back to... something that was passionate over and, and I'm getting aggression. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting aggression with um, the King of Wands now as it comes to wisdom. So basically what they're trying to tell you here when you get to the 30th of the month. Okay. You need to go in and you need to use all of the wisdom, all of the skills, all of the knowledge um, when it comes to working um, what we're talking about here is take the advantage of, le of learning and, up and upgrading your trade. How can I make this a little bit more clear? I've got a lot on the board here, but something little, I believe this is something little that's getting ready to pop up here. It does have something to do with work. Okay, this is progression. So you're going from the seven of pentacles to the eight of pentacles here. 
there is something that's going to be different about this union, um, this coming together, if it's a relationship for sure, because you're basing this on a lot of past um, memory information. So when you go in for the second opportunity, just be cautious of the person that seems to be a little bit more aggressive because they're definitely not going to lead you in the right direction. That That's pretty much what's going on here. I'm told to go ahead and pull another clarifying set here. And, you know, <clears throat> relationships, like I said, can be um, matrimonial. They can also be partnerships in business. They can also be partnerships with your job. They can also be partnerships with a friend even. Um, so I'll, I'll leave it rounded out as that. What else can you tell me between the tower and the hermit here? Six of coin. Okay, that's good. So there is going to be some balance definitely for you. And what can you tell me about the wisdom? What can you tell me about the pairing between the Hierophant, this aggressive person? And the six of, woo, it's this first one. There we go. Four ones. <laughs> okay. I like this. So... Be cautious of the of of being so ready to go that you haven't thought all the different things out, or watch for this individual that is um, overly aggressive. Um, this is a warning. You the free will. You do what you're going to do, but um, the, the I feel that this this aggressive path is not the right path to take. All right, but if you are understanding that, then the four of coin. Excuse me, the four of wands here is going to definitely be um, supporting you with the, f the foundation of where you're at with work and home. So just don't be a jackass with it, really. Do you know what I mean? Um, just don't be a jackass and watch out for this person. Um, but like I said, the disruption that's coming out, like if this, is a, if, if this is, like I said, relationship, and you've been working and trying to master and trying to do those different types of things when it comes to a relationship that just seems to be a little bit sketch, you're just not coming together. Trust me, the eclipses that are going on right now in this universe, and you're not the only sign that's going to go through this, but um, it's time to release those things that are no longer serving you. And you can spend time thinking about the thing that you want for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, so that you're giving it a chance to manifest. And when you do, you're going to find that you're going to be balanced out when it comes to the coin. So the six of pentacles showing up here is actually fantastic because you will, at the end of the day, um, have some solid structure. So we're just going to go back real quick. Um, nurture and create, all right, for yourself. Nurture yourself. Um, and then surrender, release um, the resistance and control to things that you cannot, that you can't take care of. The universe has got your back. I, I'm, I promise you this. And the relationships, like I said, I bring this up again because relationships don't always have to be romantic, but they can be business relationships, partnerships, best friend, anybody that you are very, very close with, very, very tight with. Okay. I'm told to pull out one more card. So we're going to go with the angel therapy deck just to see if there's anything else that you guys can get supported with here. For the end of the month. What do our cancers need to know here? Because they're going through it. <laughs> Listen to your intuitive feelings. Because your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine. So I'm, I'm really feeling this is up here with the sword energy. Um, Listen to your body. If something doesn't feel right, then you know it's not right. Um... Okay, so we're going to stop with that one. And then I'm just going to ask to pull a couple of cards to go into the first part of um, that will carry us through. And I'm going to switch over to the Angel Tarot deck here just to see what other guidance they can give. This is a lot of heavy energy, guys. This is a lot. Don't forget, you can call on Archangel Uriel because this person is already here um, to work with you on your abundance. What do we got? Manifest your dreams. Six of thought. Um, yeah. Peaceful times are going to be coming for you on the horizon. And you are going to be able to, um, Ace of Pentacles, manifest the dreams that you want. So this seems like a lot of heavy energy, but it is going to turn around for you in your favor. So do not worry about that. Um, so I know this was pretty long-winded and pretty detailed, but I knew that this was going to be an extended with all these heavy energies. This is a lot, but I hope that this was helpful for you. If it was, um, comment, like, so that you can see 
the other signs that I'm posting. If you'd like to get a mix of the other energies, um, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you do that. Um, and with that, thank you very much, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.